All right, I gotta make this quick. I got somewhere to be. But um, just letting you know, ain't nobody out of your league, bro. Nobody, ain't nobody out of your league. You wanna know why? I'm about to tell you why. I don't know why we feel like we need to shrink ourselves to aid our understanding of the way that the world just works. I don't know why as humans we're so comfortable in a victim state or even like a, an abject. Abject? Abject? Is that how you say it? Abject. Abject. Yes, state. So usually when people say, oh, so-and-so is out of my league, they're talking about looks. Um, and I'm gonna let you know flat out, that's not a thing. Someone is allowed to not be attracted to you. They're allowed to do that. You can't help who you're attracted to and who you're not attracted to. There are certain things about these people that can influence you a little bit, but I don't think that if you, oh my lie, damn. Most of the time when you say so-and-so is talking about, uh, so-and-so is out of your league, you're talking about looks. And I'm here to tell you that that shit is not true. There are people that are just not, they are allowed to not be attracted to you, but we need to stop putting people that we think are more attractive than us or that we just think are attractive on a pedestal. We need to stop treating people who we think are attractive differently than treating people um, who we are not attracted to. The way someone talks to someone that they are not attracted to, that they don't owe anything to, that they have nothing to gain from, says so much about their character than when they're talking to someone that they're attracted to. A lot of dudes only respect women that they're attracted to. The better way to live your life is to just go through it thinking that ain't nobody uh, out of your league. Because the thing about it is that when they, when you say, oh, so-and-so is out of my league, or maybe this person is out of my league, maybe they're not, you're kind of, you are placing your, you are placing your bar. Like you are, you are setting a standard for yourself. You know, you have no idea who you can bag. You know what I'm saying? Like you have no fucking clue. By saying, oh, because of X, Y, Z, this set of people, um, they are out of my league. You are, there's a whole pool of untapped puss. Well, let me not say that. But there's a whole pool of these people who you have not even engaged with who could one, be even good friends with you, even if not a romantic thing, or would actually be, be um, interested in you because we need to stop selling ourselves so short, people. We are more than just what our face is doing. I am my Leo sun, Leo moon, Taurus rising ass. Yeah, I'm stubborn. And yeah, I like to do shit my way, but I know what the fuck I want. And I work hard for my shit and I'm just beautiful on top of that. And that's just extra. You know what I'm saying? Like we, who we are is not boiled down to what we look like. And so when you say so-and-so is out of my league or whoever's out of my league, that's, that's exactly what you're doing. You are reducing yourself to nothing but what your face is doing or what your body looks like. And if you already have a poor self image, you're making it worse. Also, you have no idea how trash a lot of these people who you think are out of your league are. A lot of pretty girls, there are so many attractive women out here in LA. So many, a myriad honeysuckles, orange cream sickles, um, fudge sickles, um, horchata, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot, there's a lot. But you will be amazed by how incredibly boring each and every one of them is. We don't even know these people. Stop living the life that you've created in your head and live the life that is outside of your fucking body. Like that is the life you're living. The life that you, there's so much shit happening up in here that's not even real, girl. It's not even real. We create problems that don't exist. We like anticipate the worst things. And this is coming from someone who also does this. I'm not trying to be preachy. I'm not trying to like make it seem like I'm this, well, I am realized, but like, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm speaking down to you or like from this, from this like scholarly, you know, place. Like, no, I, I'm figuring the shit out just like y'all. This is just like a little update, update on my progress um, and what I've come to learn. Also, it's just a good way to live your life. It's a good way to walk, it, walking into a room and feeling and knowing that you can hold your own with anyone in that room. It's just a better way to go throughout life. We need to stop shrinking ourselves to feel more comfortable 
when really we're just shrinking ourselves so that we feel invisible that way we don't actually have to confront anything that's in front of us and you don't need to be obnoxious with it like you don't got to be like the mask you know what i'm saying and just like be smiling all over people's faces like you don't got to do all that like that's a lot even if you're not sure if you can hold your own against you know within with with these different conversations with people who are who you think are attractive or who you don't think are attractive um it's just a good skill to have. So why feel intimidated when there's no need for it? I can talk to anybody. Do I want to? No, but I can. And if you're attractive, will it be a little bit harder for me to get the words out? Yes, maybe so. I'm allowing myself to take up space and in, in every way possible, in every capacity. And I feel like we all, you know, need to do this because it happens. It, it's, it, you know, the part of the great part about social media is that we all, you know, when someone complains, we all join in, you know, when someone is, uh, being self-deprecating, we all join in and we all do the same thing with ourselves. And we just perpetuate this like feeling of low self-esteem because we go on social media and just rag on ourselves all day. Knowing that and seeing that every day, I would like for us, you know, like as a unit to, um, take up space and to not feel and stop putting stranger bitches on pedestals. Like just because they fine. You fine too. You have no idea. Yo, 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 everyone I'm talking to right now, the most attractive parts about you have nothing to do with your face and have nothing to do with your body. Like I said, it's extra. The number one thing compliment that I've gotten from anyone that I have ever entertained, talked to, dated, whatever and this has been consistent among all of them is my emotional maturity not my words their words and obviously looking at someone you can't see emotional maturity come up with realistic parameters for how you're going to discern you know these people that you are potentially or that you are um toying with the idea of like entertaining Stop saying these people are out of your league because it's not a thing. And this is something that I'm still practicing. This is something that I still have to tell myself to this day because I've only started changing. This is a new tune, okay? This is a new tune. I wasn't saying any of this shit maybe two months ago, but Ari actually was like the one who like got me thinking about thinking this way more. Um, and she says taking up space a lot. She talks a lot about that. So it's something that I'm employing in my private life, my personal life. Um, so I, you know, this is my channel where I talk my shit and I do my shit. So I figured I'd spread the message. I have to go, but hope y'all got something from this. Uh, leave your comments down below. Leave your reads down below. That's nice when y'all read yourselves in the comments. And, um, be kinder to yourselves though. That's always a fact. Big fact. Way of life. And I'll see y'all soon in another video. Bye, girl.